What up, though? Heist Man Defoe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, we got to talk about Richard Sherman, y'all. Y'all know Richard Sherman been going through it for these past couple of days, man. For these past weeks. I ain't gonna say week, but this past couple of days, man. He didn't did it all, man. First, he got into a, you know, a DUI. He crashes um SUV in the construction zone and tried to break into his in-laws home after that. Like, he been released to jail Thursday, but he expected to appear in court today, Friday. And he was arraigned for, like, five criminal charges. Driving under the influence of alcohol, reckless endangerment of road workers, criminal trespassing, resisting arrest, and um, malicious mischief. He did it all, man. But it's like, he, he, he came out and apologized for all that stuff. Y'all seen what happened when he was um trying to break into his father-in-law's house he you know he tried to bust through the door i thought he could have got through it since he was a nfl cornerback you know and he'd been busting ugh. i must he'd been busting dudes but you know what i mean man he'd been busting through dudes for a long time and um he'd been doing this thing over there in the nfl so but i'm saying like i think it is more, like i seen a comment in one of the videos i did about it and it was like, man, that's Roy Rage. I'm like, nah, that ain't Roy Rage, bro. That's love. That's what got him going through all this, man. He in love. He got a DUI. His peoples ain't, you know, on the same page with him no more. He tried to bust. Like, he tried to break into his father-in-law house to get at him, you know. Y'all seen the footage, man. He was busting through the door, trying to get through it, man. But I think they, they want this to go on anyway, man, because he a mouthy little black dude, first of all. So the NFL... They want them. The white folks want them to do this stuff, man. They they really like, yes, we got you this time. We got you. Because, man, he he talk a lot of junk, man. And people love to see him vulnerable right now. They love this stuff. I don't like it, man, because he was one of them good ones, man. He went to Stanford. He did his thing, you know. Smart brother. Very articulate. He can speak well, you know. He can do all that good stuff. But, man, he going through it right now, man. This is like... I never expected him to do all this, man. So he been he been drinking heavily. He been belligerent to people. He didn't got in all kind of stuff, man. His wife Ashley Sherman called um nine one one to have him arrested on that day when he got into all that. He got like he they got him with five charges. They say they all misdemeanors right now. <coughs> <coughs> they say they all misdemeanors. They only can um give up to like what ninety days in jail if you know something like that the sentences, but. I don't know, man. I just wish the brother all the best of luck, man, because Richard Sherman, you know, you had a clean record for a long time, man, and they want to see you with a bad record anyway, man. You mad, bro? You know, you did all that stuff, jumping up in quarterback's face, talking stuff on um, ESPN, and after the game, they call you a thug and all that stuff, and you proved your point that you wasn't a thug, but now you're giving them a reason to call you a thug again, man, so... Like I said, man, pray for Richard Sherman. Somebody help him out. Get all the help you need, man. I know you still got a good head on your shoulders, man. And I just wish the best for you, man, because, hey, like I said, man, they want you anyway. We definitely going to be talking about this right here on this on this channel Friday, man, which is today. We're going to get into more into the, the Richard Sherman conversation because there's a lot more to be said about this, man. I just ain't saying it right now. I'm going to get my co-host with me. We all going to talk about it, man. Sit back and talk about Richard Sherman. And what he going through, man. Anyway, man, y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. I go live every Friday on this channel. Um, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.